Flex. I don't know if you guys can, like, I don't know if the camera quality is good enough. But, so I tanned, like, the last three days, because it's finally getting, like, nice enough out. For the record, I don't, like, use sunscreen or anything, because I don't tan that long. I tan, like, ten minutes aside. Um, right, but I just, like, I'm consistent with it. So instead of, like, doing it a few hours, you know, at, like, the beach, I just do it, like, 20 minutes max in my fucking backyard um and it's been a while since I've tanned so I imagine like that's why my face has like been kind of like flaky and like you know my skin has been like peeling so but I didn't do it that long so it's not like peeling peeling it's just like a bit irritated I'm sorry but I'm also like eating at the same time nice hot show up That's like disgusting. Before we like get into our um, rituals, I've been wanting to make this video since yesterday. I've been, I've been wanting to make this video for a while. A while meaning like ever since I made the video that where I said I wasn't gonna talk about or I wasn't gonna make a video, that video yesterday. And it's like, I know the predicament I'm in, and it bothers me, and I'm, and I'm also sorry for this, let me say this, I, I was debating whether in this video, I talk a lot surrounding it, but not about it, or if I just briefly mention it. For some reason, this isn't going down my throat easy, so hold up. I know this is going to be upsetting or frustrating probably but I'm not going to talk about anything I said I wasn't going to and it's something that even if I didn't say yesterday I wasn't going to it's not my business to share so how I'm going to be talking it's going to be related to how I'm thinking about yesterday and what I found out but I'm not going to say what I found out but upon re-watching my video, what it sounded like to me, or at least if I was a viewer, what I would have thought was like I got cheated on, or like me and my girlfriend didn't work out. Me and her are still together, and there's no problem between us. And the the and like I said yesterday, I'm not in trouble. My health is fine. It's not about me. It's about somebody I know. Um, no one died. Um, no one I know like went to jail. You know, like it's. I need to fix. I'm perfectly fine. But, you know, again, I'm sorry. I'm not going to talk about it specifically because I. Imagine it might be frustrating, but this is just, I really want to talk about it. But my predicament is I cannot speak about it. I, I'm not going to tell my friends. It's going to stay between me and my girlfriend. And I'm not going to tell you guys, even though it's like anonymous. And also thank you for, I'm going to try and get into it because I really want to talk about it as much as I am willing to say Thank you for the messages because um, obviously there was a tone that suggested that something happened and something did but I'm fine and everything's fine. No, not I can't say everything but I've already said, you know, like I'm not in trouble, my health is fine, it's just relating to someone I know.
and it's gonna stay between me and my girlfriend. Um, I didn't do yesterday, so I'll do yesterday and today. My girlfriend for both days. It's been, what happened yesterday? It really bothers me that I refuse to talk about it. Not because it's something that needs to be talked about, it's something that shouldn't be shared. It bothers me because I really need to talk about it with somebody. <coughs> like, I do these videos and they help me get things out, but I've never like felt this way about something to where I really need to like say it, but I, I can't. Um, it's gonna hurt me, um, not hurt me, but it's gonna be difficult not even being able to say it to people I know. And it's something I wanna talk to my girlfriend about, but it's something that I don't wanna bring up because it's insensitive, kinda. You know, it's not even my business but it bothers me a lot, you know, I don't even, see, I'll, I'll say that much. My girlfriend told me something. And it's not even my business, and I don't think she knows or will ever understand how I feel about it right now. It's something I need to talk to her about. It's, it's like really like killing me. Um, It just like really bothers me. And Bella, you can get on here. And when I have like that little voice shift, it's not like I'm about to cry. Not that that would be bad. Yesterday I was like, I wonder if I'll cry. Looking in retrospect, and even then, I kind of knew I probably wouldn't cry. But we're not out of the woods yet either. I don't think I'm gonna cry about any of this. Sometimes I just wish I could, even about like nothing, even when I'm just feeling a bit sad. Like my girlfriend is like out somewhere. She's like doing an overnight thingy. And you know, although before I started talking to her today, I was like, God, like I just wanna stay alone and just have these thoughts in my head and just like sit on them. When I start talking to her, you know, um, everything was fine, you know, at some parts I forgot what I was, you know, thinking about. And even yesterday when I was talking with her, I forgot at points. But, you know, now that she's gone, I just feel like really lonely and like sad, which is besides the point, but I just, it's something I am going to have to deal with on my own. And I was... I thought a lot about how to like come about this video, so I've also like had a few like revelations. You guys are like my cheat sheet because I get so many different perspectives in the comments and I'm really grateful for all of them, even if they're negative. At first, I struggled a bit with negative comments. Like there were a few where I like got a bit defensive towards them. Um, I'm talking about like earlier, like early, or like you guys, none of you guys were here when that happened. Well, maybe some of you, but with that, it's been a great gift and you it's helped me include a ton, a lot more perspectives into how I go about things. It's helped me talk things through fully and have some feedback on it and I'm so grateful for it. But because I can't say this thing, it's gonna be, it's gonna have to be something I deal with on my own. You know, I'll share what I what I can, but I'm going to have to deal with most of it on my own. And I guess it's necessary because I, I do use you guys too much. Um, now, I'm, I don't like ask for any of it, but I'm, you know, I've said I'm grateful for it before. And I, and I do appreciate your guys' comments, but I rely on them too much sometimes.
Yeah, I'm not kidding you when I said I wanted to make this video all day. I didn't talk about it yesterday because that's all I wanted to talk about. And again, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Yesterday, I guess... I mean, I'll be completely honest. I was like, I'll take the opportunity to not do a video. You know, this is something where I could kind of get excused if I didn't make a video. And you could kind of see, like, I wasn't in a great state of mind yesterday either. I've had time to sit on it. I, it's annoying because I can't make full points here. I, I just can't make full points. But when I think about it, it, it makes me, like, sick. And I don't... I have mixed emotions. Like, it's hard to, like... I feel really bad when I say this. But it's not about saying it, it's that I feel it. I just like can't look at my girlfriend the same right now. Right now I can't. Right now I just can't. There's certain talks we might get into and I kind of just shut it down. I'm like, I, I haven't told her this, and I don't want to ever have to. It's just how I feel right now. Like, I just can't. I just, like, I, I just can't. I, I just can't help but, like, view her differently, and at the same time, I feel so bad for her. And I, here's one point I'll talk about, because I only briefly mentioned it. So my girlfriend few days ago had a little incident with her mom where her mom hit her with a fucking fire extinguisher and went in her room took her monitor and broke her monitor with the fire extinguisher and then by the end of the night they were playing like an xbox game together um I think it was more so her mom's idea. Like, she didn't seem really happy to do it, but... It's besides the point. I've spoken about her mother before, and she doesn't seem like a, the greatest person, but I can't make a full judgment until I fucking meet her in person or have some exchanges with her. So I'm going to stay pretty reserved on that. But... Yeah, it's not, it's not related to that at all. It's not related to her, her being gone for, like, the whole day until, like, late at night. Like, really late. The night she disappeared, um, not disappeared, but you know what I mean. Um, there, the night where there was radio silence and I made the video. It was, like, a really late at night where we did talk again. Um, and yeah, it's not related to that. But, here's another point I'll get into. I really need to talk about what happened with my girlfriend. Not only because I have some views that I feel she should go about it, about it, or in that, in the way I'm thinking. Um, and you know, I've stayed reserved on how I feel about it because it's not my place. <laughs> but at the same time, I need to know the full story. I haven't made her elaborate. I haven't brought up the subject again. I need her to elaborate. I know the little details she told me. And I picked up on it. Like, it could have been anything. But she said it very vaguely. And obviously I knew it was something bad. She said it very vaguely, and I just kind of picked up on the signs, and I was, I asked for, I asked a clarifying question. Do you mean this? And she said, mm-hmm. I need, I, I need to fucking know.
What am I grateful for? Because I forgot it. I'm grateful of what I've been through. This is another point I wanted to pick up on. I like was gonna get to it, but I got off topic. In this situation, I feel kind of bad about, like, like there's just like a bad tone that it conveyed, obviously, and it's been making me feel a certain way, in you know a few ways. You know, I said I have mixed emotions about it. But I want to stay sad. It's something I talked about a long time ago. Wanting to like feel grief and wanting to feel sad. I haven't had a lot in my life to feel sad about. You know, I've had no death, you know, no heartbreak, no this, no that. I've gotten pretty lucky in life. That's also because my circles have just been pretty small. So it's been harder for me to experience something like that especially because I haven't had many relationships and I haven't had many like a big family but something like this I want it to make me feel worse and this isn't related and I'm not going to get into this that much and and let me stop you right there I'm not saying I want somebody to die but I just want to feel something I felt something yesterday but I want it to feel more intense like and then, of course, it happens, and then I regret ever thinking that. That's what will always happen. But, like, I just want to feel something. Like, I just want to feel, like, sad. I want to have a reason to, like, feel sad. Instead of just feeling sad at, like, little things. And then wishing maybe I could cry. But then, like, I just can't because it's not that big a deal. It's not like I'm telling myself, no, don't cry. It's just, like, there's... Not like there's so many positives. My girlfriend has it so rough, man. It's 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 unspeakable. I'm the only person she's told as well. And I asked her, "You're gonna tell more people, right?" She seemed to get a bit defensive at that. And I understand. I'm not telling her to tell everybody. But that's something you can't keep quiet about. That's something you don't deal with on your own. You didn't have to tell me. I'm not saying anything about that. But I'm saying you got to tell somebody that can help you. I really like just wish I could but out of respect for her myself and privacy I can't my day has been fine you know it's just been on my mind when I'm like alone like the things that happened yesterday And she doesn't even like, she said she cried about it. She's like, I'm such a crybaby. Like, like she, she basically said, I don't know why I'm crying so much at this. Like, appearances alone, like being in my head and viewing her from an outside perspective, it feels like I'm taking it worse than she is, which is something I need to bring up to her you know I guess I could get where she's coming from but like no no like that's not okay you know that doesn't just happen and and someone can be like fine after that and then like I mentioned yesterday like I, I'm powerless like I can't do anything I can't well I could but I won't, and I shouldn't, but at the same time, who wouldn't? Well, I, In my mind, only someone who isn't a man would do that. I'm not saying that women, women wouldn't, but like the 
the fucking concept of being a man. Now, of course, if it was a more local issue to me, I feel like I would have made myself do it by now. I'm not going to say what I would have done. I'm not going to get into that at all. But... That shit makes me so fucking angry. That... And I'm... And again, I'm really sorry. I'm not sorry I'm not telling you. I'm sorry because I know it's probably frustrating. And, you know, to anyone who actually is, like, trying to look out for me, you know... Because there's plenty of you that are, and I'm really grateful for it. You know, people who look out for me and, you know, give me comments, give me advice. Just, like, they're not like, hey, go do this, you know, you idiot. It's like, um... Here's my experience, and I and I want you to know about it. I'm not giving you guys a lot, and it's something. I mean, I guess be grateful. I gave you this much. I'm not trying to like rub it in your face. I really don't want to. And I even again, I, I debated whether I even talked about it at all. Like I, I was just gonna gloss over it this morning because that's what I should have done. Because again, I feel kind of bad, but. And then, like, how can I, like, go on after hearing that and after not doing anything about it, even though no one would blame me, no one would want me to, nobody would say that's a good idea, but my heart won't let me rest, even if I know that wouldn't be what I want to do and I'd be performing that just because... I feel like that's my duty. I feel like my heart won't let me rest. You know, like, even if I, like, do, and like, even if I do continue with my life, if I really, like, think hard about it, there will always be that guilt. Because what kind of a fucking man would not do something about it? If I were a bit more stern with my morals, I'd be down there by now. I'd be down where the fuck she lives. And fucking do something about it. It hurts. And I know... She wouldn't let me. She wouldn't let me. But, like, that's just me kind of trying to... Take a reasonable out. My brain's, like... Trying to keep me from actually, like, doing it. But my heart's, like... If... You're just not a fucking man if you don't do it. So, like, I'm not gonna do it. But, like, even just saying that, like, I just feel terrible. Just. And and maybe you guys have some ideas as to what happened. I'll tell you you're wrong. You guys aren't gonna guess it. And that's not the point of this fucking video. Nothing else happened in my day. I went to physical therapy. I'm going to post the the running prep video after this. Um, you know, I just talked a bit more. Like, I went to physical therapy. I'm going to rework my routine. Probably not going to run tomorrow. <clears throat> we'll see how I feel in the morning. That's more of a running prep thing to talk about. So, um, yeah, I learned some things at physical therapy. You know, I always learn when I'm there, but, you know. It's a bit more important because now I'm like getting closer to the race and I'm taking things a bit more seriously. And if I was to look at my situation from an outside perspective, <clears throat> you know, like the little thing that's been troubling me of like not being able to do anything, how can I sit here and think I'm doing things and going in the right direction, you know, on how I should like do things with my girlfriend after hearing that? It's the bitch way out. It's the bitch way out. 
But I know if I did it, it'd only bring fucking bad to me, to her, to the person, to my family, to everything would be bad. But like sometimes when you get disrespected for your pride and for everybody watching you, sometimes you have to smack a motherfucker in the mouth. I'm not going to. I can't. I can't. Even if I, like, was, like, to my girlfriend, like, what's your fucking Addy? I'm pulling up right now. She's not going to give it to me. She hasn't given it to me yet because she's had, like, some weird online boyfriends in the past that did, like, some weird-ass shit after the ER address. I mean, it is what it is, but, like, But even if I did have it, would I just pull up like that? It would be like, I'd, I'd have to spend like days worth of thinking and weighing the options. It's whatever. I know I haven't given a lot, but advice is very much welcome. You know, even something, even if you think something happened, but it might not be the case, your comments still give me things to think about. They could quell me, they could do this, they could do that. Sorry for like teasing you guys, so to speak, with this stuff. But anybody with a moral compass would not share this. You know, I've been loudmouth in the past and there's been times where I was like, you know, I really want to say it and it's not that bad, but you know, at the same time, I want to stay to my morals, but no, this is like not even questionable. Like, no, I'm not telling anybody this. I will never speak this to another fucking human. Anyways. And it affects me directly, depending on how things pan out, it affect my future, not even like if I go do the thing I was just talking about, we'll find out in a few days, or whenever, um, you know, whenever she's ready. This could direct, this could impact my future. This could impact whether I stay with her or not. This could. Oh. Everything, it makes me angry. It makes me so like sad and pained. But I'm just gonna stop. And we're gonna throw something out. Cause I've fucking hit a ton of things already. Smacking the thing in my chair. Like fucking asking God why. What am I gonna throw out? I've been running out of things to throw out. We're getting there. I mean, my room just like looks messy and cluttered. If you guys have watched my like race prep videos, sometimes it like shows different angles of my room. It's just cluttered, but like ton of this shit is already like thrown out that isn't like you know like useful and you know maybe here because around here I have like a ton of more sentimental things that's why they're like on this little shelf I'm gonna throw this away it's not his real name but we call him Angus I call him Angus Nobody else called him Angus. Okay, there's dust on it, so I'm not gonna do that. It was my birthday, and he gave me this. And then later that day, um, we were in math class together, and I saw other people with this, so I was like, this motherfucker got it from, like, class or something. 
Like, his whole class got some of these, and he just gave it to me. Still, um, I love my boy Angus. It's been a minute since we talked. You know, we're both out of high school now. And, you know, it's probably going to stay that way. You know, I've used this as a straw before. You know, I just like the sound. But there's, there's like, dust all over it. But I'm, I'm going to do it anyways. We're going to throw it out, though. But there's a record of it on the video. <sighs> Question of the day. What would your strongest bit of advice be, of life advice be, for you when you were the most troubled in life? That could be when you're 10, when you're even younger than that, when you're a teenager, you know, just like whenever, if you look back in your life and you're like in a slump, or maybe, you know, maybe you're like, I'm in a slump now. What advice would you give yourself to get yourself out of that slump if you could go back and give yourself advice? When I think of back then, I didn't think I was in a slump. thought I was happy. My piece of advice would be, I mean, I want to try and give something that would, like, matter. Because, like, if I want to be, like, literal, like, stop talking to the people that you're talking to and, like, grow up. But I wouldn't have listened. You know, just because I, my mind at that point was kind of like powerless. I didn't have a lot of control over it. I would say, what you do now isn't forever or something like that. Meaning like who you speak to now, you're not going to talk to forever. The things you enjoy now, you're not going to enjoy forever. The things you hate now, you're not going to hate forever. The things, your future as it stands now is not going to be the same future as it will be tomorrow. Meaning like, you know, every day we take a set of actions and, you know, it changes our outcome. You know. And, you know, I'm kind of, I'm partly asking that question because I also kind of want advice just on anything overall. You know, I'm always looking for ways to improve myself. And, yeah, it is a bit, like, for me. But, you know, I just want to know what you guys think because, you know, maybe not all of it would help me. But I don't want you to change your answer to try and accommodate me or whatever. Just answer, just answer the question, you know. Um, I'm going to dip. Sorry again. We'll see you in a few days. That might be like some of the worst news I've ever received. This is some of the worst news I've ever received. Cause I just cause a sheer lack of not having much bad news in life. That might be up there even further in a few days. Could be. And oh my god, I'd be fucking angry. We're gonna get out of here, okay? It hasn't happened. Good time. I truly appreciate you guys and all the comments you guys left for me to, uh, yesterday. Thank you. Peace.